with Steve Wilkos. A pleasure to, to meet you, talk to you. How many years now have you been, what season is this for your show? We're going into our season 10. Season 10, please take me back, and, and it's an old story for you now, but take me back to what you were doing that got you the show. Well, and just the way I broke into TV is an unusual story because I was a Chicago policeman. My father was a Chicago policeman. I was going to be a policeman for the rest of my life. Uh, I happened to break, uh, get a shot working on the Jerry Springer show. Um, I was on the Springer show for a long time. And my role kept growing very, you know, small, 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 getting big, big, big. And uh, they asked me things like, would you shave your head? I shaved my head. Um, and then back then there was no internet, so people actually wrote letters into the show. And, and it was like my popularity took off from then. And, uh, they just increased my role in the show all the time. And then when Jerry went on Dancing with the Stars, they had me host the Springer show while he was gone. And when those shows aired, they rated really well. And I think NBC said, hey, let's give this guy his own show. And I was telling the story, when I was in this room nine years ago, got my own show and we were launching it, everybody in this room said, that guy's gonna fail. Cause he's nobody. And here I am nine years later, Still successful, still doing the show. And What made you succeed? We do a show that's different than anything else on TV. When you watch daytime TV, everybody's interviewing celebrities and doing home shows and all that. But we're doing a show that people are seeing stories that a cop deals with on his eight-hour shift. And these are real stories. And so it's sometimes it's very hard to watch. These stories can be very um, hard-hitting. Uh, people have such emotion when they watch the show and so nobody else is going after what we're going after so we have it all to ourselves and, and that's what's different and you have to do that almost immediately because when you split away from Springer you he needed well, people, to identify yourself well people said what are you gonna do no I said no we're not gonna do that so, but what was the only thing I was good at I'm not a celebrity uh, I have no talent so we said be a policeman, be a policeman on stage. And we did it, and that formula has worked. And Every episode has one theme, or does it? Um, well, we, we like, Maury does a lot of DNA, Jerry does a lot of uh, love triangles. We do everything under the board, you know, from some DNA, domestic uh, violence, abuse. Uh, so You're kind of a mixture of what Jerry and Maury are doing. But even more so, we just covered the gamut of topics, uh, very unusual topics. You tune in, you'll see. And oddly, uh, all three of you, I don't know if people know this, tape in Stanford, Connecticut. We all tape in the same studio. Um, they just change out the sets. And, and it's nice. It's a, it's a nice working arrangement. Uh, you know, I like, you know, I don't work per se with Maury and Jerry, but there's a lot of crossover. Sometimes Maury's appeared on my show. I've gone on Jerry and Maury, so it's nice. What have you learned about being a talk host that came easy and what came very difficult for you? You know what? I just went out there and was myself. And But it is scary getting a show when you've never been trained to do this. So it was nerve-wracking for me. And I was like, oh my God. And then, you know, they put my name on the show. Well, you don't want it to fail. That's my name. So I worked really, really hard to make sure, because when in this room, when they said, you're not gonna make it, I looked down and said, yes, I am. And, you're, and the lights just went down here, but we're gonna keep going. Your wife produces the show. She's the executive producer, and we've been working together between Springer and my show for 22 years now. We, we, was she your wife then? When you... No, we met on the Springer show, and she walked down on stage, and I'd never seen her before. And because of being the Springer show, I said, if that's not a man, I'm gonna marry her. I really did. I looked at her, I fell in love, and I discovered she wasn't a man, and I married her. <laughs> Pick our interest for this season. What's going to change? What's going to be the same? Well, the show's not going to change, but because it's our 10th season, we're certainly going to celebrate our 10th season throughout the year. And this summer already, we shot a lot of stuff that's in the can already. Looking back at some of our greatest shows, greatest guests, funniest moments, you know, things like that. Uh, my wife, uh, actually did some interviews for the show. She's in the show, and that's what people always ask me. They'd like to see my wife on the show. They're finally going to get to see it. A couple more questions, and one is, this is a tough time for police. Very this tough is a time. tough time. Are you going to veer into that end at all, just discussions? Um, 
I always talk about being a policeman on my show, um, and, and, and it's very relatable, and I think pe everybody that watches my show knows I was a policeman. Um, I don't know if, uh, we've had brought stories that involve the police on my show. Um, all I can say is this, I think most policemen uh, want to do a good job, are there some bad apples, and that there's some really bad shootings out there that should never happen. And those policemen should be punished like anybody else. But 99.9% .9 of the police go to work, they want to do a good job, they're not going to shoot somebody for a broken taillight. Um, but there's bad apples in every profession in the world. Finally, you got a talk show season number 10. Where do you take it from here? What do you want to do? Is there, is there a... This is it. After this show, You're... I'm done. Um, I so you, you go to Lake. What do you do? I have a house in Wisconsin on a Lake Geneva. Yeah, basically, and uh, I'll be sitting on my boat smoking a cigar and uh, watch my children grow. That's it. That's you're really content on that. Oh, you know it, man. I mean, I've had a great life. I was in the Marines. I was a cop. I've been on TV, so I've had a lot of experiences. I'm content. Steve Oko, sir, you're you're a class act. Thank you. Thank very you much. very much. Thank nice you. Good to meet you.